you've been following this channel, then you know that I've recently moved into a new apartment. The new place is great. My new room is much better than the last one, and it's also much bigger than the last one. The problem is, I'm not very good with home decor. There are many underutilized spaces around the room, which make me feel like I'm not actually getting full value out of the size of this new space. Yeah, so last week I did something impulsive. Hold on, let me show you. Yeah, so I ordered an entire home studio set from the internet. What can I say? While I'm very calmly unboxing the package, I want to give you a bit of an overview as to what I got, as well as why I got it. So inside this box, we have five different colored backdrops. We got black, gray, white, green, and blue. And these will be hung over a boom arm, which will be supported by two vertical tripod thingies. And that's basically it. The setup's quite big. It's about two meters high and three meters wide if you open it up all the way. Now, why did I buy this? The idea for home studio came to me during lockdown when I spent about 90% of my time in my room. Now, sooner or later, we might be forced to quarantine again, nobody knows. So if it were to happen again, I want to be prepared. Now, this home studio setup allows me to do a lot of things without even having to leave my room. And even if things do go back to normal, the possibilities are endless with something like this. I've been getting more into product photography and video lately, so that's probably going to be the number one thing that I'll be using this for, but I'm sure that it's going to have a lot more added value than that. All right, so generally I love autumn, like the season. I think it's a good time of year, but I hate it from a filmmaking perspective because there's no light outside because of the weather. So yeah, I had to turn on the lamps so that we can see something. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put the whole thing together now. I think there are only two steps uh, remaining. One, I have to decide where to put it, uh, which is not going to be easy because the room is big, but probably not this big. So I'm definitely going to have to move some stuff around. And uh, once I do that, there's only one thing left, putting it together. And uh, I don't think that's going to be too hard, but I've been proven wrong in the past. So we'll see. Okay, I got two confessions to make. On the one hand, uh, as you guys have probably gotten used to it by now, we jumped a little bit in time again, because I'm the worst vlogger in the history of vloggers, and it takes me multiple days to get through about five minutes worth of video material. Yeah. The second one isn't really a confession, it's more of an apology. I just want to apologize to everyone for using the word studio very liberally throughout this entire video. I know that what I have set up behind me is not, technically speaking, a studio, but it is going to be functioning as one for me, so I thought I could call it whatever the hell I want. What you going to do? Sue me? Uh, please don't. Anyway, so last week I set up the whole thing, and now I'm going to be able to show you what it is that I actually have going on behind me, so come on, let's do this. All right, so now I want to show you the whole setup because as you can see, it looks absolutely comical and ridiculous. So let's start with the backdrop. At the moment, I have the black one set up. I think that's the one that I'm going to be using most of the time anyway. Uh, we got one pole, we got another pole, and we got a third one on the top connecting them both together. Now for the time being, I got my coffee table uh, in front of the backdrop. This is going to be my main surface area on which I'm going to put the stuff that I'm going to be shooting. This is very temporary. Obviously, I need that coffee table somewhere here and not here, uh, but at the moment I don't have any elevated surface on which I could put my scene. Now moving on to the more comical bit, my main light source is a cake pan with LED strips glued inside of it. Um, I saw a video by Daniel Schiffer in which he made a very DIY light setup like this. So I just ordered the exact same things that he ordered in the video and I put together the same thing. Um, if you wanna learn how to make something like this, I'm going to link the original video down in the description and you can go ahead and check that out. Obviously, uh, putting it into the position in which you need it is a little bit more complicated. So I have glued a piece of 
wood to the cake pan and that whole thing is being somehow secured by my tripod again very temporary this looks absolutely ridiculous and stupid so this is not gonna stay this way for the time being this is the best that I could do our subject for today's photo shoot is a cactus and uh, the light that's coming in from the right side is being bounced back using this uh, I actually have no idea what this is. Uh, I was given this by a friend who wanted to throw it away because they didn't need it. And I told him, no, don't throw that away because I'm gonna be able to use this to bounce back the light from another uh, light source. So let me show you what it looks like without it. If I move it away, you can see that only the right side of the cactus is actually being properly lit. But if I move it back, now some of that light is being bounced back to the left side of the cactus as well. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's still very far from being finished, but I've already tested it out, took some test photos, and the results are pretty good. So I'm not gonna be complaining about this. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this short. That was it for today. Uh, thanks for watching as always. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you wanna see my struggles with the cake pan lighting setup, because, uh, that guy is going to be a recurring character in my vlogs in the future as I'm going to be using the studio a lot more frequently. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.